redemption. <sighs> I did brag that I'd only failed twice in 14 years as an attending. Last month, my 30th failed intubation. There's a video describing why I failed, but there's no excuse. I did things outside of character. Me was delusional from my delirium, from having a spiked fever, 102, 103, or working a shift at the end, but no excuse I failed. The greatest thing is redemption, though. I allowed my resident who had failed to intubate again after I failed to try to do some weird trick that shouldn't have been done. I need to stick to what I know. Tried a new trick that didn't make sense and I'd ever tried before in mannequins and simulation or even cadaver lab and I failed. So I allowed redemption for him. And now my redemption is knowing that I'm not perfect. Everyone talks about me being the airway guru or I can intubate someone from across the room and I'm the one who Go to the by education, about intubation. No. My redemption is knowing that I'm not perfect, and I'll go back in the lab and perfect the techniques that I've been intubating or teaching. I almost never intubate anymore. My residents are so successful. Now with me when we laryngoscopy, even now with the DL, they get the tubes that I taught them well. So my redemption knowing is that I'm not perfect. Never will be. A beautiful thing is not perfect. The beautiful things you cherish make better. Strive for greatness. To the program, to a school of airway. I own to redeem myself with my actions.